Do you want to learn jazz drumming? Then keep watching because in this video I will teach you the essential rhythm you need to know to play jazz on the drums. Hi, and welcome to this first drum lesson on jazz drumming. You might have already noticed that the beat that I was playing relies heavily on the right cymbal and the hi-hat played with the left foot. This is what we call time playing, and it's essential when it comes to jazz drumming. In this lesson, I will teach you this cymbal beat, which enables you to play along with records or maybe with other musicians. So, let's dive right in. First, we start by just playing the quarter note on the right cymbal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just playing the quarter note is very important. You want to make it strong and you want to make it consistent. Now, besides that, it's also important that you are aware of the subdivisions of that quarter note. We want to count eighth note triplets. The way you count eighth note triplets is not really important. Some people count one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I prefer to go with one and the two and the three and the four and the. So if we have that symbol beat, try to count along with the subdivisions like this. One and the two. Now the next step is adding a hi-hat played with your left foot on beats two and four. And also try to keep counting the eighth note triplets. One and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four and the one, two and the three and the four and the one. Now the last step to completing this essential right cymbal beat is adding an extra note right before the third count and right before the fourth count. And the reason that I had you count in eighth note triplets is because we're gonna put it on the last eighth note triplet of the second count and the last eighth note triplet of the fourth count. So we will get this. One and two and three. This is the cymbal beat played in jazz music. Of course, you need to be able to play it faster. So the challenge lies in becoming more fluent and being able to play that jazz time beat, that cymbal beat, faster. Let me play it a bit faster for you. Here we go. One and the two and the three and the four and the... Now if you got the cymbal beat going, I really recommend you to start playing along with some jazz music. Just the cymbal beat and the hi on 2 and 4. Now records that I recommend to start with are Miles Davis' Kind of Blue, and you can play along with Freddie Freeloader or So What. The second album that I recommend you to play along with is an album by the great legendary jazz drummer Art Blakey. The album is called Monin and the title track is great to play along with as well as another track that is called Along Came Betty. The third album that I recommend you is an album by the famous singer Frank Sinatra. It's called Frank Sinatra Live at the Sands. He performs with a big band and it's with classic tunes like Fly Me to the Moon and I've Got You Under My Skin. Great tempos to start playing along with. Now to finish this lesson on time playing, I also want to mention that you can play your bass drum on every beat, but you're playing it so soft that it's more felt than heard. People refer to this as feathering the bass and it helps you 
to get a consistent beat. Thanks for watching this video on jazz drumming. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. As always, in the description of this video, you will find a download link where you can download the sheet music with all the material that I discussed in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for topics you want me to discuss in my next video, put it in the comments. For now, have fun practicing and stay tuned for the next lesson on jazz drumming.